Hi everybody, uh, good afternoon. So today we're going to be teaching you how to make these uh, Christmas coasters. Uh, and you know, you can make them into coasters or you can make them into a string of, uh, you know, like a bunting or even, you know, join together two of these and make them into like a cute bag. Once you're done with using them as coasters or, you know, or using them as buntings. So all this option is there uh, today for you and we're going to be teaching you how to make these cute little things. Uh, we think it's come out very pretty so <laughs> we'll tell you how to make these and for that uh, um, you need to have for making these you need to have uh, uh, this is Ganga Alicia so it's slightly more thicker yarn than four ply Ganga Alicia six ply is what I think it is and then we have a four millimeter hook uh, or maybe maybe this is five ply or six ply or something like that but it's thicker than a four ply uh, thing but we're using a four millimeter hook still just so that it becomes a little um, tight. How should I say it? Tight, yes. Then a pair of scissors, uh, just to snipe the uh, yarn away. Keep it here, and next to this. And, uh, you know, red yarn in case you want to embroider with red, or white in case you want to embroider with white, and of course a needle to do the embroidery work with. So to begin with, uh, what we'll do is we'll show you. I have to make a initially the, begin with the magic ring as always and then we uh, this is the magic ring that is made and then we do one loop two loop three loop this is the first double crochet and we'll put 14 more double crochets in the magic ring so one I mean sorry two um, three so it'll actually be 15 uh, double crochets in the magic ring in the first line so three then there is four then there is sorry five six six magic rings uh, six double crochets in the magic ring we reduce the I mean we increase the tail of the double uh, the magic ring a little bit and then we add uh, nine more double crochets to this. So seven, eight, nine, ten, ten of these, then eleven. Twelve, thirteen. Pull this. Pull the pull the tail. The other end. Make it tight. And then the final two. Fourteen and fifteen. So now we have fifteen double crochets, including the one that we made with three loops, uh, three chain stitches in the beginning. And 15 more double crochets after that then you will loop it into the topmost part of the first first double crochet that you made just to close this loop you put it in the first one pull the yarn through then through and through slip stitch this is your slip stitch you close the loop this is the first first line for your uh, crochet coaster then the second line we begin again with three uh, uh, single uh, three chains one two three again this becomes your first double crochet what we are going to do in the second line is in each uh, this is the first one but in the next one we are going to put two double crochets one two okay and in the next one after this we're going to put one double crochet so one and then again in the next one we're going to put two double crochets one and two okay then again one in the next one and then again two in the next one two so we're going to be alternating between ones and one and two double crochets in each in each uh, you know uh, stitch so by the end of it the second line will have like uh, 15 plus um, around eight so about 23 of these so we'll put, uh, you know, like this, and I'll just complete the second and come back, you know. So one, 
and there's one then two then one and then one then two and then one and then one and two okay then one then one and two then one and this final one will become two you know because we already have the three um, chain stitch double crochet uh, formed by three chain stitch that is there so one this and then we close the loop the same same process we take the topmost we insert our hook through this and pull yarn through and through okay so this is two lines it's there then the third line again we go back and put three chain one two three okay then again in the next one we put two double crochet so exactly like the line previous to this that we did two and one double crochet alternating between two double crochets and one double crochet in each stitch we're going to be doing the exact same thing in this line as well so one next is one then there's going to be two then there is one then two then one then two then one again and then two and then one again and then two one two okay and then again one and then two sorry then one and then two then again one and then two and then one and then two then one and finally two Shh. and then you close off the entire thing by putting in again the on top you put it put it in both the stitches then you pull your yarn through and through that's my cat sorry for the disturbance he's just discovered that the neighbor's cat is out in the balcony and so he wants to howl his heart out <laughs> sorry about that then the final line we're going to be putting we're going to be doing a little bit different because you see as you see it's become more like a cup so we want it to be flat out so instead of it being you know we want it to be tight but still flat so that it sits nicely on the table when you put a cup on it so then you do one two three chain this becomes your first double crochet then you put two double crochets in the next stitch one two but instead of putting one here you put two here again so two And in the third double crochet, you put one. So it's basically two, two, one, two, two, one. That's the that's the pattern that we're following now. So two, two, yeah. So two and two and one. So again two and two and one and as you can see as you keep doing this this flattens out a bit here so it'll flatten out completely and it'll become like this once you're done with this it'll become like this okay so we have one, two, three, four lines. 
So this was just 15 double crochets. Then we did 2, 1, 2, 1 in this line. Then we did 2, 1, 2, 1 in this line. And then finally in this line we did 2, 2, 1. Okay, so this was the pattern that we followed. Um, so now, now that, you know, we're going to be, we'll put this aside. And since we have the complete uh, round now, we will actually do the embroidery now so that, you know, how it, uh, you'll have an idea of how it comes out. So I'm going to be doing um, white again, just to give you an idea. You can do white. This is typically Christmassy colors that we're doing, white and pink and, you know red that sort of things but if you want you can add blue you can make it in blue and you can make it in red and white or whichever color that you want to make it in you know but since this is typically christmas so you know so here we are so white thread on my yarn i put the needle through the first you know first one and then i will start doing you know like loop stitches so or chain stitches which are, you've learned it as so this we do like this i'm sure you've learned chain stitch as a kid <laughs> we taught chain stitch in school you know apparently it's supposed to be a very big thing for women <laughs> or you know for all everybody in school so yeah one second just give me a minute. It's just a little loose. The sun got this, I think this one's a little bit loose. Anyways, so this becomes your first chain. Then you do basically uh, we're doing going to do um seven chains here. So that it becomes like a flower, I mean like a seven petaled flower. Second. Okay. Then you have your third chain. So, you know, I'm, I'm running out of yarn, so I just kind of tie to the back and put new yarn in the needle and do it all over again. So, just snipe it off and add a new yarn to my needle. Half new yarn thread to my needle. Then, so this is, as, as I know, this is seven chain flower. I mean, it's a three petal flower. We have to make it seven petal flower. So, yes. flower oh. yeah. we knot the ends together we just do double in the in the you know in the needle we put uh, two pieces of yarn and then knot them together you know towards the end so that at one go you'll have like a thicker thread you don't have to repeatedly do the embroidery at the same place so here we are so now uh, for the balance four petals of the seven petal flower that we're doing in the center mm -hmm. you have this is the fourth petal i'm going to do Petal. Yeah. Okay, so fifth petal, and there is the I'm going to do the sixth petal and the seventh petal. Sixth petal.
and finally we will do the seventh petal so now the seven petal flowers are the center now what we'll do is it's exactly going to be i'll show you how to do the same pattern or maybe similar sort of pattern because we've already made one of this so you know um, similar to this but slightly uh, similar to this so yeah so you can see seven petal in the center and then we put one 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 chain here to each petal so we can either do it like this or just you know put uh, whichever version of the embro um, pattern that you want to do. So I have two or three patterns here, so mm. embroidery. So, so here we have, we're going to do one. Just one here. And then the second one that we're going to be doing here again. Yeah. And then the third one. Comes your one, and then we do same thing for the second um, petal. This is second petal. First branch off from there. Then we do here. Second one and again the third one. So we have three again here and then we actually since I'm running out of yarn again so I just have to like just thread your yarn at the back into the back of the stitches that you did. And just like knot it at some place and then thread it again so that you know it doesn't come out easily. And yeah, just snip it off. You know? and just snip it off. It snipped off. Again. So this is what it's looking like right now, but we'll add more. You know, for instance, here we've added two more petals in each side we can add here or we can add two more here at the top you know where there's more space and anyways to, so to get that embroidery thing done completely we have to add more yarn to my needle and again So we'll do exactly, I mean, or similar to what this is done, but the, instead of doing three petals, uh, you know, three petals in the second line, we'll do three petals at the third line. And then we'll put one, on, you know, like a dot here in between. It'll look nice. Let's just see how it turns out. <laughs> so the best thing about crochet actually is a lot of experimentation happens behind the uh, finished product. Uh, you know, before it gets finished, there's a lot of experimentation happening. Which is, you know, all about creativity, you know, the creative process involves a lot of uh, experimentation and, you know, unless you're satisfied with the result, you keep on experimenting and correcting and, and redoing sometimes, endlessly actually. But um, it's all fun, you know, it's all for eventual uh, 
creative process that gives a lot of satisfaction. So yeah, so the embroidery is, you know, of course the pattern, the embroidery, and everything is uh, yours truly. Really. <laughs> it's a it's a creation of my own imagination, and what would look good or not look good as, uh, or in this case, look Christmassy or not look Christmassy. So basically, what we're trying to do here is emulate snowflakes on a green background to give a feel of Christmas. So this again here. Okay. So So we've done it for four petals, and now we're going to be doing the fifth, fifth, sixth, and seventh. Okay. Come on. Sometimes you have to coax your yarn to behave the way you want it to behave. <sighs> so this, again, the fifth one. We'll, we'll sew this end in eventually or weave it in to be precise using your crochet hook yes so one then there is two So when I was a kid, I um, used to have all these projects in school where you would have to do patchwork and knitting and everything else. And I used to stay with my grandparents. So my grandmother would let me do all of it. And you'd think that I would be getting, you know, good marks in my SCPW or whatever it was called then because I was doing it all on my own and everything else. But the thing was the other kids would get it done from their parents. Whereas I would, you know do everything on my own, so pretty clumsy actually. <laughs> but the other side was that I really started liking doing all these things because it was almost meditative, you know. So yeah, so while I didn't get good grades in the craft bit of it, I did manage to engage myself quite a lot <laughs> in these things. So yeah, so that's how I ended up getting interested in uh, knitting basically knitting and applique work. Not so much embroidery because we try to do it with thread and embroidery would take a long time to happen. But yeah, I never tried yarn embroidery, maybe I would have liked it. <laughs> Anyways, so we're now on the final one. And then we'll sort of add more stuff to it, you know, just to make it a prettier one. So the second one and then the third one, okay, here we are, we're finishing this, we'll do a little bit more embroidery, just not over yet, a little more of the embroidery bit, just since the yarn is not 
over I just sort of finish it just thread it through the back stitches you know here I think the yarn is a little less so I might have just This and just cut it here. Just snip it off. Okay, so this is what it's looking like right now that we want it to look like, or at least similar to this. So, yeah, so we're gonna add more yarn to my needle and continue with the embroidery a bit more, you know, just to give you a similar look in like uh, this one you know uh, if you guys uh, really want to do wanted me to correct anything because i might be quiet which i am but since you can see it i'm assuming that you're able to follow the process nevertheless so if you guys want me to be louder or or want the video to be brighter or anything else of that sort let me know. I mean, I figured as much, out, as much out from the last couple of videos that I did was that I needed more light and a little bit more uh, closer look at what I was doing for me to be able to teach you how to do. So I got a bit of equipment for that. So yeah, so now we will do more stuff. So we will put uh, one here. One petal here. Then one here. Okay. Then I think I'll add two more here at the just to you know, make it a little more full of embroidery. So two more here. One and And one more here. And then and one here. And one here. And then here. Again. So 
sorry, I shook my phone a bit. The thread is quite long, so to pull it, it's a bit pulling effect. I end up invariably end up hitting my mobile sometimes. Then one here. Actually, we need more yarn. Let's probably just tuck it in and then just do this and thread it at the back, you know, like through and through. And snip it up here. So as you can see, this is turning out similar to this, you know, and then we'll just finish the embroidery and then we'll put a uh, one line of single crochets at the end so that, you know, we have a finished look, the entire thing, you know, so one round of single crochet in the same color as the embroidery so that you have a nice finished look to the, it's like a Christmas bobble. You can even stuff it and tie two of them together and stuff it then stuff them with a little bit of toy stuffing and it becomes like a bobble you can actually put a little bit of uh, some bling on it if you want it to sparkle but uh, we've decided to make it into coasters in case you want to give it to somebody because well as a christmas gift you know So we've just taken up from where we left it. So one more petal here, and then we move on to the next line. And um, and here, and then we move on to the next line. So as you can see, this is now filling up. It's looking quite nice. It's it's filling up into you know. This. It's nicely looking like a um, happy snowflake. So you know the deal about snowflakes. No two snowflakes are supposed to look the same, but here. You can make them as similar or as similar as possible, right? So, we're taking inspiration from nature, but we're not quite uh, following it completely. And then, this one. So, we're one, two, three, four almost done with it, almost there with the fourth one, and then three more to go. And then we do one line in white yarn and we will be finishing it. And here we are again. Oh, this has to go out and I'm putting a chain here. 
just locking one chain. So we have one here. Second, right? And then there's third one here. So we've completed one, another one, and we head to here. Fifth one. Yeah. Four down, three to go. So here. Sorry, again. <laughs> and then here. And we are almost done with five. And now we have two more to go. I think we are going to be adding more yarn to the needle again because I think the final one will need a yarn refresher basically. So here again, you know, one petal. This is the penultimate one that we're doing. Fifth one. Oh, sorry, sixth one actually. One, two, three, four, five, six. So since we had seven petals, right? So in the first flop, so seven times you'll do this. But it's coming out quite nicely because um, it's already full. It's like a. It's looking nice. So here again, we are back to needing a little bit more yarn and we will finish it up here, add more yarn and finish the final one that's there. And then we'll add one line of single crochet. If you guys have any, you know, like, um, if you want us to put this in Hindi or some other language, which we don't know, of course, we know only Hindi, but if you want us to do Hindi videos or some specific videos, please drop us a, a comment here in our, on our page. And you can please also subscribe and like us because uh, we would love to, you know, to keep you updated about our latest videos so push the bell icon and click the thumbs up you know in case you like a content if of course you don't like a content then we wouldn't ask you to force yourself to do that but you know, if you like a content and you want us to keep posting more such stuff because we're not you know we're not uh, taking content from other people we are trying to create our own content here so you know if you like a content and originality of our products or what we're trying to teach you here please uh, subscribe that is push the bell icon and uh, 
like us so that we get a little motivated to do this more often okay so here we are okay so final one okay so yeah and what it will look like when you are done with uh, you know all the embroidery that you can or you want to of course you can make it plain as well but it looks nicer if you have like a snowflake or something like that something very Christmassy you know on it and we've been thinking about it for so long to you know make this you can of course make bubbles also which is also very easy to do instead of doing one two three four lines here we just close it at the second line the third line and then just embroider that should be good enough as well and stuff it inside both sides i mean join two and stuff inside so it will become like a bubble maybe i'll do that in the next uh, um, before christmas so that you guys have an idea of what but you know, or I can just show you how to make a like a coin purse out of this, or a small bag out of this. It'll also be nice, whichever. I initially thought I'd teach you how to do a Christmas tree, uh, but I think I've already taught that to a few people, so that wouldn't be very original. But I'll see if I if you guys want me to do a Christmas tree, crochet Christmas tree, like a small thing, I can do that as well. Yeah. So now we're done. We've finished uh, here. And I'm just threading it at the back. And you know, all this while I was doing this thread was running out. And the last stitch, where you actually want to want the thread to run out, it's as long as it can be. It's humanly possible for it to be. Okay, so this is done. This is the front end of your uh, coaster that I was uh, that I was teaching everybody to do. Now, as I promised, this has to be threaded in. So just to pull it in and then pull it out here. Sorry, and then pull it in again and then pull it out again. And again, and again, yeah. so you've woven it in, and now we'll just do one round of uh, white yarn. So, the before we finished off, so you know, so you, it has a bit of a finished look to it. So, it's just this. Mm -hmm. So, one, so this is the first single crochet to put in, and Instead of knotting it, we just kind of like do it like this. Unless, of course, it's a knot that we don't want to open, like the center or a joining knot, then we do a knot. We don't want the yarn to unravel, so we do a knot. Otherwise, you'll just do it like this. And we do an entire round of single crochet just to give you, you know, give the uh, coaster a finished look. And 
and then put this and we'll add it on Instagram as well so you know anybody who wants to um, buy these or watch the video or something that's what can uh, check out an Instagram um, account and uh, from there you can go onto a YouTube link or if you want to order you can order via Instagram or through mini we are also there on mini you know swiggy mini and we are also now I mean of course we have our own website but the thing is with website we are we are um, not uploading all the products sometimes it so happens that we run out of the products before we can upload them you know because this is handmade uh, we don't make too many stuff so people if somebody likes something they order the stuff they order in large quantities or a lot of people order it and then we run out of the product because we don't have a very high inventory at any given point of time primarily because it's handmade right so very difficult to have very high inventory unlike machine made products which is uh, cheap and made a lot uh, in a large quantity so we make uh, very select items in smaller quantities and they're available till stocks last and sometimes stocks finish before we can even upload it on our webs on our on our own website so you know so that happens so the best way to check out our latest content or latest products is to follow us on instagram and since our instagram uh, page is connected to our um, facebook page and our swiggy mini whatever we upload on instagram gets instantly uploaded on swiggy and you know facebook yeah just sew this in this white tail in and yeah and just finished off you know Mm -hmm. So, snipped off here, this, pull it in, pull it in, and there's a, there's a little bit here coming out, so just snipped off here, and then pull it in, yeah, and then this little bit here, so I'll snip it off here, and pull it in. And this is what your coaster looks like, uh, just just put a bottle on top of it just to show you how it will be yeah so this is what your coaster will be like when you finish with it this is our christmas coaster uh, with snowflake pattern on it uh, do let us know what you think of it and if like i said before if you like our content please 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 subscribe to us and like our videos on youtube and i mean that is press the bell, bell icon and press the thumbs up icon Thank you so much for your evening and for your time in whatever part of the world you're in. You have a great day and a great and hope you had a great, great weekend. Bye.